we have methods in place, but everybody can connect, and we've got a wealth of data available. U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, National District Park Rangers, regulators, and engineering technicians received basic training April 6 through 10, 2015, on collecting and analyzing geospatial data for natural resource management and the protection of the nation's waterways. Right now, we are so paper driven. We've got records we don't know what to do with, but we can take that same level of data and put it into this digital format and attach it geospatially, and now we've significantly reduced the footprint and dramatically improved the capability and use of that data. The group also hit the streets of Nashville to get hands-on practice with a handheld GPS unit. Feeling comfortable with using the collection units will help the students with tasks like asset management, preparing planning documents, bidding contracts, issuing permits, verifying easements, and providing recreation information to the public. It, this is basically your, uh, your limits of your imagination, what you want to use it for. So you can collect anything you want to. You can collect flower beds, trees, campsites, it's, it's all up to them. So eventually it will reach back to the public and give them a better understanding of what we have and what we offer at the core. One park ranger said the training will transform how the lakes manage natural resources and will limit the amount of time they spend looking for information contained in storage and filing cabinets. And there, there are so many applications, there are web applications that we can get online and use. Uh, there are la certain layers that you can turn on and off so you can see where the watershed is, uh, where potential wetlands are, um, any kind of projects that are going into those potential wetlands, you can you can overlay those layers to be able to make ma better management decisions and you know in the work that we do. A regulatory specialist working in eastern Tennessee said he sees value in using geospatial technology for collecting and inputting data into a regulatory database for record keeping purposes and permitting actions. We often will trade information with consultants in the permitting process, especially when it comes to defining your jurisdictional reach in streams and waters of the U.S., that the consultants will go out and take data points and create maps and send us information, often in GIS format, which we are then take and import into our own systems, be able to analyze, produce our own maps, and then upload into our our regulatory database for our, for our record keeping and permitting process. The ultimate goal of the training is simply to improve processes and get away from doing business as usual. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District in Nashville, Tennessee.